I am a fat trainer. Well, I was. Well, I still am. Sort of. See, let me explain. 2023 was not my year. I probably spent a total of $500 just on mini powder donuts alone. I know for a fact I spent over $5,000 just on DoorDash and Uber Eats because I calculated the total amount that I spent and I almost threw up. I just couldn't get motivated. Boo hoo, lazy piece of shit. Surely 2024 is my year. One rep, that'll do it. But the thing is, if I want to get back to being shredded, jumping high, and being, well, the opposite of a fat piece of dirt, I can't rely on motivation. Bro, what even is this machine? Am I doing this right? That can't be right either. Instead of motivation, what I need is discipline. Goodbye, old friends. So, like any fat trainer would, I stepped on the scale January 1st to find out my starting weight. <laughs> Two reps, that should do it. And I weighed in at a heaping 224 pounds. Yeah, I don't actually know what I was doing. Just for reference, my optimal jumping weight oh, is about 200 pounds. That's essentially like putting on a 25 pound weighted vest and trying to jump your highest. It ain't gonna go too well. So after I weighed myself, I headed over to the gym and I went to test my vertical. And let me just tell you this now, it was way worse than I thought. I tested in at a whopping 28.5 inch vertical jump. Darn it, you fat. Funny thing is, my vertical hasn't been that low since, well, before I hit puberty. My girlfriend still thinks I haven't hit puberty, but uh, that's a story for another day. Now, if you can remember, I actually tried to stop being a fat piece of dirt multiple times in 2023. The first time was at the beginning of 2023 when I did my Dunk Every Day series. That lasted about two months. And the second time was in October of 2023 where I started off at 217 pounds and I dunked within three weeks. You ever see a 120 pound single leg RDL? Me neither. So what makes this time any different? This time, other than me having discipline. I am not going to fall into the same trap that I did the last two times and try to vlog every single day. Oh shit, that's heavy. Who the hell's doing this? You see, I already train a bunch of athletes in person. I coach a high school basketball team. We do 6 a.m. workouts. We have practices and games six days a week. Not to mention, AAU is coming up soon and we'll have tournaments every single weekend. I coach a bunch of athletes online. I still need to do my own workouts. I need to find time to study. And to put the icing on the cake, I have a baby due in July. So if I think that I have time to record and edit a vlog every single day, then I'm even stupider than I look. Anyways, my plan this year has been very simple. Wake up, ice bath, work out, train my athletes, and then work on my YouTube videos. Throw in some studying here and there, and I am golden. More simplicity, less complexity, equals, well, more of a focused life and just a little bit less of a fat trainer. Two reps, that should do it. Anyways, I know you're all here to see how much my vertical increased in 30 days, so let's get back to it. After a 16 year old touched higher than my vertical in just his socks, I got to train. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday were my lower body days and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday were my upper body days. Skills training every single day, mobility every single day, and of course, the key ingredient to this whole plan. Discipline. Six days a week, training hard. However, this time I took a different route as well. In the previous vlogs, I jumped right into vertical jump training. This time, I started with my indestructible athlete program, which is the first phase of my new two-year-long program, Beyond the Rim Vertical Jump Secret System. Don't worry, I'm not trying to sell you anything. The program's not even out yet. However, if I've been a fat piece of dirt since October, I figured diving headfirst into one of my vertical jump programs would probably bring a along some tendon pain. So you see the whole theme of 2024 relies on me consistently trying not to be a bonehead. It's a lot harder than you think. Back squats, pistol squats, plyometrics, isometrics, all progressing from the most simple regressions to slightly higher and higher intensity until I can pass the highest level of every exercise in this indestructible athlete phase. Essentially, there's levels to every exercise in this phase, and when you can pass the highest level of every single exercise in this phase, you get to move on to the next phase. So while I've passed the highest level of every plyometric, every isometric, all the strengthening exercises, back squats, step down. Blah -bitty, blah -bitty, blah. There's one exercise that is my arch nemesis. The pistol squat. Okay, it's actually not on this chart. Probably because they know pistol squats are hard. And for some reason, as the sadistic freak of a coach that I am, 
I made the requirement for the highest level of the pistol squat in the very first phase of my program that you must be able to do 10 reps of pistol squats in a row with absolutely no knee pain. Now don't worry, I teach you how to work up to that and by the end of the first phase, you will be freakishly strong as shit. Anyways, I've trained for 29 days now. Tomorrow will be day 30. I don't expect to see a ton of gains on my vertical just by doing prehab and knee strengthening exercises. However, I have been doing the highest level of all of the exercises in the program. And I've gone from 224 pounds at the beginning of the year to 212 pounds after 30 days. Ooh, 50 pound hammer curl, boy. That's actually not that impressive, sorry. So with that being said, tomorrow we test our vert, yeah. You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. You initiate the action aggressively. You go. We made it to the gym. They added some new machines in here. Oh shit. Doesn't work with a pedometer on. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be using this thing. Yeah. Not for what you guys think. Time to test our vert. It is pretty echoey in here though, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. But that's why I spent my hard earned money on this DJI mic. Just so I can make videos for you guys. I'm just kidding, my mother bought this for me for Christmas. You guys ever see this big ass wrinkle on my forehead? Nah, I ain't worried about it too much. Holy all right, let's stop getting distracted. Hi, puppy. Bro, there is no way that you didn't finish this. All right, let's warm up. Two minutes on the sled, some isometrics. Some low-level plyos. Some hip mobility. More isometrics. Couple jumps. Oh. I might be the smartest dumb person you know. I'm a smart person? No, I'm definitely not a smart person. More isometrics. Couple jumps touching the net. Couple touching the backboard. Couple touching the rim. And now we test. Last time my broad jump was about 104.5 inches, which is extremely horrendous. It's about eight feet, eight and a half inches. So that's terrible. However, today, let's hope we can beat it. We're gonna test our broad jump, our double broad jump, and then our vertical jump. Well, that's about eight foot nine right there. So already beat it. All right, so that's about all I got on the broad jump. We got nine feet, four and a half inches. So a whole eight inches farther than 30 days ago. That's what happens when you're not fat. Well, I'm definitely still fat. Next up is the double broad Start jump. Start off nice and light. Last time we got 16 feet, two inches, and I just beat that. Yeah, guys, that's about all I got. And ladies and gentlemen, this is actually crazy. 30 days ago when I tried this, I got 16 feet, two inches. This time I got 17 feet, nine inches. And you guys are gonna think I'm lying. And I would think I was lying too, if I didn't record this and measure it all on video 30 days ago. So guys, that right there is the perfect example of fat don't fly. Plus 30 days of actual training. That was just my rehab program until I get into my jump program. All right, so I might have added eight inches on my broad jump and 19 inches on my double broad jump. But what about my vertical jump? I guess we'll see. Oh, sh oh shit, that just happened, sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm actually gonna be pissed if I improve my broad jump and not my vertical jump. Can't have this pedometer weighing me down. All right, we'll start real light. Ooh. Yep, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Ooh. This vertex pretty beat up and it's missing a couple rungs. So I'm gonna be mad if I could have got an extra half inch, but the rung is missing. That wasn't it. This is. Ooh. That wasn't even a good jump and I got him, so I'm not mad. You yeah, boy! I don't know what that was, but I was happy. Here, I'll give you guys a different angle. I don't feel like that angle did it justice. No, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. You know what the trick is, you gotta hike your pants up real high. You hike your pants up, that's an automatic three inches. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. We gotta put them back down, put them back down. Oh, that was not it. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I think that's it. As much as I would love to keep jumping with your new and improved camera angle. I just don't think I got any juice left. You gotta put this red one back because that's the highest one that I hit. All right, so 125 inches. She's 10 foot five, that's horrible. This Vertec is all types of messed up. Bent, crooked, missing rungs. 
So 10 foot five is what we're actually at. It looks much higher because each rung is supposed to be a half inch. So I hit 12 rungs, which is supposed to be 10 foot six. However, this Vertec is a catfish. It's a schemer, it's a scammer. It'll make you think you got a beautiful woman right in front of when you. When in reality, it's just a dude. Anyways, 125 inches minus a 94 inch standing reach puts me at a 31 inch vertical jump. Still completely, utterly, horrendously terrible. However, still two and a half inches higher on my vertical jump in just 30 days. Stay tuned and click that notification bell because I'm going to be posting these updates every single month. Oh yeah, and buy my programs. Sorry, sorry.